everyone. We are now going to go over the flow cytometry from a mediastinal mass biopsy from a 16-year-old male um, who had an 8-centimeter mediastinal mass, pretty large. So let's start with CD45 versus side scatter. You see um, the bulk of the cells are here painted red in the blast gate, which is defined by a dim CD45 and low side scatter. There are a few cells in the granulose side gate which are um, defined by a height sc side scatter and dimmer CD45 than lymphocytes and monocytes. Um, we do have very little lymphocytes here which have bright CD45 and low side scatter, um, essentially no monocytes. So now let's follow through these um, cells in the blast gate and see what they express. The blasts are negative for CD34, they're negative for CD33, they're negative for CD117, negative for HLA-DR, CD15, they are positive, brightly positive for CD38. They do not express CD13, no CD11B expression. They do express CD3 and they have bright CD7 expression and um, they are double positive for CD4 and CD8. So um, as we see here, we can see that they do not have CD34 expression. They do not have the expression of myelite markers like 11733 or 13, no monocytic markers, negative for 11B. And um, they do have T cell markers, um, CD, surface CD3, CD7, and they are double positive for 4 and 8. And they are also positive for CD2, and they are positive for CD10, negative for the B cell markers, CD19 and CD20. So it's pretty straightforward. This looks like um, the T cell lineage blast. But if you go um, again and look into the plots, we do not have any immaturity marker so far. We don't have CD34 expression. Um, and uh, those cells are uh, sitting on the blast gate, but we don't have CD34 expression. We do not have HLADR expression. Um, and also we should know that the thing that we can see in mediastinum includes both thymus and um, lympho uh, lymphoma. So we need to have a, um, um, a immaturity marker to call it lymphoma. So these cells are four and eight double positive, although T cell precursors are the blasts, um, our immature cells can express both four and eight. That alone is not enough to call it um, lymphoblast because thymus will also have some double positive population. So um, we'll see how we can differentiate the two, but CD10 can be considered as an immature immaturity marker. Um, let's see more. So, huh, here is TDT. So in this cytoplasmic tube, we have cytoplasmic CD3 and all the cells are positive for TDT, brightly positive for CDT. So now we have established that these are all blasts. So this is a T lymphoblastic leukemia lymphoma presenting as a lymphoma. So um, again, um, it shows that these are CD34 negative and these are CD1A positive. 1A is also another immaturity marker. Um, they are CD5 positive as expected and these are negative for the myeloid markers, MPO. So um, the main differential diagnosis in a mediastinal mass is thymus versus T lymphoblastic leukemia. So this one is straightforward because we have TDT expression and we have um, both surface and cytoplasmic um, uh, CD3 expression. This is double positive for four and eight, has bright seven, two, five, everything, and it has 10. So it's a typical, um, thymic lymphoblast uh, morphology. How do we differentiate this from thymus? So thymus is the organ where the maturation of T cells happen. So you will see both a population of immature T cells, which are positive for CD4 and 8, which express, um, which are negative for surface CD3 and uh, positive for cytoplasmic CD3, which are um, and then that will migrate towards um, one population that is just CD4 positive and the other population that is just CD8 positive, and they will lose the immaturity markers and gain the surface CD3 expression and become brighter for CD5, et cetera. So here you don't see a dynamic population. This population is all clustering into one. So they are all just four and eight positive and they are all immature. So even though in um, thymus, you will see those immature cells with TDT or CD34, showing both four and eight positive, 
you will also see the population moving towards like a smearing pattern moving towards maturation here you don't see that this is just a tight cluster of immature cells and all the cells are in this one gate therefore you can call it confidently as t lymphoblastic leukemia lymphoma so when we report this we are going to say t lymphoblastic leukemia lymphoma and um, if you wish you can give the percentage of the blast which is um, actually more than 76%, I would say. And you have to describe the phenotype because you remember um, these patients will have, may or may not have bone marrow involvement and they can um, present later with minimal residual disease. So any leukemia, it is always important to document the phenotype um, in, a, in detail, like the markers that are positive, markers that are negative, and also the intensity of expression, like whether it is brightly positive or partially positive. Some markers you get, you have to even give the percentage of blasts that are positive. But here, um, I think it's unambiguous. It's all uniformly positive. So we do not have a problem here. Thank you.